and Fierce 3. Fish. So it begins. The old pen fierce pawn shop reel. Getting it done. This is going to help me make sure my audio is all synchronized. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're going to discuss my experiences and thoughts about the Pen Fierce 3. We're going to go over gear ratio, drag system, bearing count, and overall body construction. To the unsuspecting eye, these reels look very high speed. They look like professional. We're going to talk about whether or not the Pen Fierce is an amateur reel or a great option for the serious angler. The Pin Fierce 3 sports a medium 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. That's 6.2 turns of the spool for each revolution of the gear handle. That's basically your retrieval or recovery rate. Now that 6.2 to 1 ratio that I'm mentioning is for your most popular sizes which range from 2 to 4,000 series. The recovery rate is 35 inches, so each turn in the handle gives you 35 inches of line retrieve. The Abu Garcia Elite Max, they had 2 and 4,000s. The 2,000s 31.3 inches, the 4,000s 38.1 inches and then the Casking Valiant Eagle in the 3000 series size is 35.5 inches uh, per turn. The pin fierce is right where it needs to be. A 3 to 5000 series reel in the medium gear ratio will just about catch you everything. All of these spinning reel companies, especially pin, they offer a wide range of gear ratios for their spinning reels. All right, let's talk about the drag system. Love the drag system on these fierces. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. The drag system the Pen Fierce 3 is a front drag system, meaning it is adjustable upon the spool. This prevents having to run drag mechanics throughout the entire reel body and is considered more effective. The drag washers are made by a material called HT100, which appears to be proprietary to Pen. Now back in the 80s, this HT100 material was pretty high speed. Basically, Pen was taking technology from the aerospace industry and turning it into drag washers for their drag systems on their reels. So basically it's carbon fiber laminated onto fiberglass washers. I've been using Pen Fierce reels for about six to seven years now. You're probably not going to over tighten your line when you're fighting a nice big fish. It takes many turns of the drag knob to increase your drag substantially. This assumes of course that your drag was properly set in the first place and that you didn't have too much drag set. With a bait caster you can use your trigger finger to adjust the drag and then with the spin cast you can just use your thumb to adjust the drag. With the spinning reels, the downside is you have to use your non-reel hand to come over and adjust the drag knob on the fly. Is it a big deal? Not at all, because as your fish is out there taking a break, you just put some increasing tension on that fish, you know, and you just adjust your drag and then you can just take up the line. Not a big deal at all. Now, despite the ergo downsides of the spinning reels, I actually prefer the drag systems, such as the ones installed on the Pen Fierce 3. The Fierce 3 drag is forgiving, infinitely variable, has a rating from zero to 15 pounds on the 3000 series that I'm working with, and incorporates a really cool strike alarm. It really gets adrenaline going when you have a big hit. In my humble opinion, the drag systems on the Pen Fierces, especially the Pen Fierce 3, are superb. Oh yeah, yeah son. All right, let's get to bearing counts. Bearing counts have been used as a marketing selling point for many fish and reel companies. More bearings are advertised as a metric for how smooth a reel operates. Simply put, more bearings equals more smoothness. Let's take the Casking Valiant Eagle, for example. Their website literally states, Casking uses a total of 11 10 plus one stainless steel ball bearings for outstanding smooth operation and consistent performance. The Abu Garcia Elite Max, utilizes seven, and the Pen Fierce 3 contains four plus one, so five total bearings. 
As long as the bearings are sealed, I'm of the mindset that placement and quality is far more important than the quantity of bearings. I don't care about bearing counts. As long as the reel operates smoothly over a long period of sustained use, I'm happy. Never have I stopped and wished my reel had more bearings. The Pen Fierce 3 is reliably smooth and I've been thrashing on this reel for about six months now and I haven't noticed any degradation in smoothness. All right, let's talk about body construction. The Pen Fierce 3 uses full metal body construction and a side plate to keep precise gear alignment under heavy loads. The frame is very sturdy. There is a heavy duty aluminum bale wire, a beautifully designed spool, and built-in line capacity rings, which look very nice as well. Just look at it. It is a very beautiful reel, and I think it's a nice upgrade in design over the Pen Fierce 2s. Now, I have used Pen Fierce reels for over five years now, and the bodies have taken a beating. There's definitely scratches and dents on them, but they are holding up perfectly well, and the Pen Fierce 3 is no different. All I do is I spray down my spinning reels with a hose, I'll hit them with WD-40 every once in a while, and then once in a blue moon, I'll break them apart, throw some grease on the pinion gears, and oil them back up. I have yet to kill one of these Fierces, and when I do years from now, I'll just buy another one on sale at Walmart or find one in a pawn shop. If I was an inshore fishing guide, I would probably have all Pen Fierce 3s because the quality to price point is near perfection, and it's kind of the AK-47 of the fishing reel world. These things will take a beating. Let's get to the conclusion. Now I'm probably going to butcher his name, but Otto Hens founded Penn Fishing Tackle Manufacturing Company in 1932. In 1961, Penn introduced its first spinning reel called the Spin Fisher 700. 60 years later, the Penn Fierce 3 still maintains that tradition of high quality excellence to economic price point. As long as Penn is in the business of making reels, I don't think they're going to give up the Fierce brand. The Penn Fierce 3 is literally the perfect balance between price point and quality. Since it's not made in the United States, it's the perfect guilt-free reel. Absolutely fish the hell out of this reel and then throw it away 10 years from now when it finally dies. Go to Walmart, buy the Pen Fierce 6, which will be out by then, and thrash on that thing for another 10 years. Despite focusing on salt water, the Pen Fierce 3 dominates the freshwater game when I was living in Alaska. Although a bit overkill, it was a fantastic trout reel on the lakes, and when fishing for salmon in the rivers, it was right at home. The Pen Fierce 3 is an excellent mid-grade reel that lets you fish like a pro on a budget. As always, thanks for stopping by. Make sure y'all get out and go fish. We'll see you later.